everybody, welcome to another episode of Insert Ingredient here. I'm your host, George, and today I have two very special guests. I have my daughters, Lola, Hi. and I have Lily off camera. She's gonna be doing something with me a little later. But today we're gonna be doing Dutch oven pizza. Uh, we did this yesterday at the house. Mm -hmm. It turned out amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my daughter, Lola, she is in the seventh grade. She's starting home ec. So this is one of the first recipes she did in the oven but we're gonna take it to the next level and do Dutch oven. Mm. So I just started doing uh, Dutch oven cooking. Today we're gonna do a simple pizza recipe. Um, you know, it's maybe four ingredients. Without further ado, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna go over what we got here. Uh, first, we have the Dutch oven. And you see here, the inside, all that cooking surface. And the best thing about uh, Dutch oven cast iron cooking with that, it's a consistent heat. And honestly, they're real easy to cook with, but I know that uh, cleaning them up can be a hassle. So Lola, take us through our ingredients. So today. what we have here, um, we have some biscuit sheets that we're gonna use for the dough. Uh, we got some sauce right here. Yep. And then we got some cheese, and then we got my favorite pizza topping, pepperoni. So really simple, really easy. This is what we're gonna do. So uh, you're gonna walk me through what we did the other, the other day at the house. Yeah. And then uh, let's go from there. So let me take me step one. What do we need? All right, uh, get the get the get the cast Dutch iron oven. out here. The Dutch oven. You're right. Mm -hmm. All right, take this lid off. Okay, so um, we're gonna. So yesterday we had a smaller oven, but we don't have that with us right now. So we are using a, two sheets. So yep, so we want to make it nice and uh, buttery. Buttery. So I got some Pam spray here. It's pretty easy. All right, what's next? We gotta, we gotta pop these open. And then it says here, press spoon at seam. But we're just gonna use our hand. Ha. Huh. We're gonna get that open. So go ahead and grab that, unroll that out. So you see here, quick and easy. You can pop these in your uh, in your cooler, whatever you can. They're easy travel, easy cleanup. And then uh, we want to base basically get the the dough in here, and we want to get get it covered in the, the entire bottom of the pan. You know, you just gotta move it around with your hands. It's it's croissant. Croissant. Croissant dough sheet. Croissant. So it's not a, it's not your traditional pizza dough, but it, it cooks up nice buttery goodness, Delicious. deliciousness. So Lola, what do you think? I, I'm excited. Yeah. All right. So you just want to just want to get some of this. Uh, oh, look at that stuff. Wow. You just want to cover cover up some of these holes in here and then just make it a little thicker on the bottom. And maybe some thick crust. We're gonna make some thick crust, maybe some deep, make kind of like a deep dish. All right, what's next? All right, now we're gonna add um, a lot of sauce because I like my pizza super saucy. Yep. So we're just gonna spread this all around here. Um, yeah. All right, that's good. Perfect. All right, what's next? Now we're gonna add um, some cheese here. We got fancy mozzarella and just a store bought. All right, all right. So we have our cheese. This is kind of what it looks like right now. You can see that. Now we're gonna do our uh, pepperoni. But uh, I bought this little field manual right here. It's the Lodge, the field guide to Dutch oven cooking, and it has everything from recipes. It has everything from the history of Dutch ovens, even uh, history of Dutch ovens in Utah. So this is where we're at. It's kind of cool that. I'm in Utah using the Dutch oven, but uh, but it has all the um, formulas for how many uh, briquettes you need to put on top and bottom. So we're gonna go off of that. Yeah, got the uh, pepperoni, pepperoni on. on there. Now we're ready to uh, put the coals on. So we gotta put the lid on mm -hmm. and go ahead and put that just on the ground. <clears throat> all right, so with the Dutch oven, um, I use the briquettes to cook it with. There's a number of briquettes you put on the top and the bottom. Any briquettes you can use. Uh, I, I prefer Kingsford. I've been use, using those for years. They're always good. They cook even, things like that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to throw these on the ground, uh, and then I'll have Lola here. She's going to put the uh, the Dutch oven on top of the briquettes when I tell her. So she's going to just spread these out. And what you want to do is you want to put about 10 or so on the bottom. And these briquettes are very hot, so be careful when you're cooking with them. So we're gonna put about 10 on the bottom and then about 20 on top and you wanna place them in a checkerboard pattern 
So I'm gonna do my best to do that. So these are extra hot. All right, so we have the coals on. We're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna take the lid off and do a little check and then put it back on for another 15, uh, give or take five minutes or so, depends on how hard, uh, how fast this cooks. But uh, for right now, we're gonna make some s'mores. Lily, come here. Uh, you ready? <laughs> hey everyone, this is my youngest daughter, Lily. Say hi, Lily. Hi. Tell everybody how old you are. Seven. And what grade are you in? First grade. First grade, okay. So what are we doing today? What are we making? We are going to make s'mores. S'mores, okay. How do we make s'mores? What do we do first? So we, first we do one more s'more. Yep. And then we um, get it in the fire. Oh, we get it in the fire? Okay. Do you want to, uh, let's switch sides. You want to get it nice and melty, right? Do you like yours burnt? How do you like your marshmallows? I like not burnt. Okay, so we got not burnt here. So what we're going to do now, go ahead and uh, grab grab a uh, grab a graham cracker and a, and a piece of chocolate for me. Okay. Sit next to me. Don't be shy. I'm not going to I'm not going to bite. No. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh boy, this is going to be good. It does good. Yeah. We don't want it burnt, right? So break that in half right there at that line right there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put chocolate here. And then when we get that marshmallow out, we're going to put that marshmallow and make a sandwich. Don't eat that. She's eating her supplies already. Come on. All right. I think we're done here. We're ready. Hey, there. Give me the uh, thing. Okay, look. I'm going to put this right here and make a sandwich. Here. There you go. Oh, my. <laughs> That's going to be good. Go ahead. What do you think? Take a bite. It's hot. It's hot? <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It's hot. It's too hot. It's too hard. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> you got it in your hair. All right. All right, folks, there you have it. It's too simple. It's graham crackers, it's marshmallow, and it's chocolate. You can't beat it. It's a classic camp snack. What do you think? It's good. Here, let's get our hair out of here first. <laughs> so yeah, folks, check it out. S'mores, they're delicious. I'm gonna go for it. Really? That's a great s'more. Thank you so much. Tell everybody bye. Bye. <laughs> we are at our 15 minute mark. Uh, we're gonna just do a quick check. Fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Ooh. Ooh, you got that? Look at that, guys. That is looking really good. That's looking really good. All right, I'm gonna put this back on and give it another 15. All right, everybody, we're done. We're ready to take this off the uh, Dutch oven and uh, start eating it. Uh, so anyway, we did about a total of 30 minutes on here. And one thing that you need to look into when you have a Dutch oven is they sell these nice special hooks to get the lid off. I uh, Obviously forgot mine today. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna use a uh, tongs and the uh, spatula to get this pizza out. Anyway, but uh, so here we go. Ooh. Oh my, look at that. That looks really good. I'm gonna put this on a rock. Yeah. All right, put that on the table there. All right, everybody, check it out. Pizza. Pizza in the Dutch oven. I got my girls here. What more can you ask for? This has been a great time. Um, you guys ready? Yes. Let's cut this up and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So remember, this is not gonna be your traditional pizza crust. It's a croissant Pillsbury. This is camping. This is quick. This is easy. Let's uh, dig in and enjoy. Be careful, it could be a little hot. It's pretty hot. Is it pretty hot? It's pretty hot. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna do the old Roof of the mouth, burn the roof of your mouth. Oh my God. That is good. Ah. Good job, Lola. Thank you. Good job, you five. Mm. All right. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. This is Insert Ingredient here with George. Food is fun. Food is, you're supposed to share food. Food, um, is, food is family. Food is family. Yes, exactly. So check us out on the Field Crowd Survival YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, comment.
Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you everyone for all the positive uh, comments and things like that and the feedback. And thank you for all the ideas in my DMs. Um, you can also find me on Insert Ingredient here on IG and then I think it's George Bell Jr. on Instagram. Thank you for tuning in. We're out.